Okay, we are on. The Hangout on air is live. So, hey everyone. Believe it or not, we are in a bathroom doing this digital fish. Yeah, don't We're tell. in a studio. Yeah, that's true. This is a studio with a beautiful backdrop. We have towels over here in case we, we get lots sweaty. Of money. We paid lots of money for this backdrop. <laughs> this is from India. It's that's me rocking on a toilet seat. This is the only place with great lighting. Not great. It's the best lighting. You will not get another toilet seat broadcast <laughs> yes. from CBS. And I'm not sitting on the toilet. I have fully clothes no. on and the, We're not the that top is shut. We're not that ghetto. Oh, okay. So we are... This is our first year at CES, yeah. obviously, because we're doing stuff in the bathroom. But we had so much to say that we just couldn't help but doing this digital dish. We love doing them every time we get together, we do them. Yes. And we thought this is a perfect thing to do for people who have never come to CES before. Exactly. And we wanted to know what mm -hmm. is it about. So it's true. So first, I want to talk about the clothing. What to wear. What to, to wear. I, I feel like I should have put my blazer back on because you have your outfit on. Like, let's talk about the women. Like, what? Okay. Women? So, so I was really nervous because I thought that everyone was going to be very professional. Right. And I just didn't feel like I wanted to go so professional. I don't own a lot of, like, business suits. Yeah, we're thinking business right. business attire. And like, I could have went business casual. But that's not us. I just didn't feel like it. I didn't feel like that's who I was. Mm -hmm. So instead I opted for a really loose fitting. You look great today. Flowy shirt. Well, you're, what are you gonna, you're not really going to see anything. But like I you know, jeans. Really like skinny jeans. Wait, skinny this, is, jeans. this is becoming a, a different kind of video here. <laughs> what do you mean like that? Um, you know, I just had a long, oh, you took, you took I took my boots off. off. But I had knee high boots that, that had really like smart. a wedge heel. And um, and that's what I went with, and I totally fit in. Felt, but I felt very comfortable wearing that. It looks great. And what did you have on? I today? decided to go for a graphic tee. This says fashionably late. And what I had over it was a blazer, like a crop to the black blazer, mm -hmm. which was cute. I loved it. And then I have on, because this is very me, I don't even know if you can see very well, but I have my like distressed jeans on. I love distressed jeans. You're so sure you can't get I, 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 like, you, you were able, you, you went up, you're I, like, I, up to here. I put up, it's just my belly button. Right, right, right. And then I wore like little wedge booties. So not high, but like like ankle booties. Because everybody said to us, make sure you have comfortable shoes. Now, shoes. I have to say something about that. So in my head at home, I was like, oh, my knee-high wedge boots are super comfortable. And I yeah. was them. I'm dying. Yeah, you're like both of us right now, socks. I can't lift my leg up. You can't like lift. dying. This is what's good about being short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My leg. No. My feet are, you know, when people are like, oh, you're, my feet are on fire. My feet Yours are, are on actually fire. on fire. Like they're actually, if I if I if I rub them together, she I could start a flame. She could so smoke. Big mistake. I made a big mistake with my shoe selection. The wedges are good for maybe four hours. Yeah. They are not good for But the men hour. were the men, yeah, they had it easy. They were men in suits. They were men with like jeans with like sneakers or loafers or casual shoes. Um, you name it. But for women, I mean I feel like I gotta be honest, I didn't feel like there were a lot of women there. Not a lot of women. I thought there was gonna be a lot CM more women. There was like a ton of men. Yeah, I feel like a ton of men. I feel like there needs to be more women here next year i hope so like people walking around and like checking things out i, yes. I, I mean again I, I there were a lot more men in that oh. taxi line i noticed it was it's 90 percent to 10 i felt like it totally was so. so so our second point is if you're in the market yeah I, we were talking about this uh, yes if you're single <laughs> this is ladies Come on down. Because we were kind of joking around. Like, there were, there are so many guys here. These yeah. are guys that are like, you know, and if you're into tech and you're into, like, digital and you're into social media, yeah. I feel like this is probably this a is place. Your, so if you America. are in college, if you are in 20, you're not even college, like, you're, you're 20s, 20s, you know. And you're just looking to meet the right kind of guy. <laughs> These are people that you guys have the same interests. Yes. You know, why be online? A lot of, lot of good-looking, intelligent So those are our men. two points. So our so, fashion, we're going to kick it on fashion. Right. And dating. And, and just, <laughs> Nothing to do with tech, but that's how we were. Right. But wait, one more thing. There were women here in sneakers. Yeah, there were sneakers. And there were women. And, there, and I also saw women in, women in suits. So yeah. my point is, if you're coming to CES and you don't know what to wear, wear whatever you want to wear. Right. That's what I have to say. That There is no um, dress code that you have to adhere to, and I was really right. worried about that. It's coming in. We so. saw one person in heels. She was in front of us. And, and yeah. she's crying in a corner. You can right tell. She, right, she's in a fetal position. I crying. mean, please. Okay. So let's talk about what we, what, because we saw a lot of stuff today. A lot of cool stuff. We're going to kick it off with Sleep Number because we are here with Sleep Number. Yes. And um, 
They are. They launched a new bed today. Today, so January sixth. Mm -hmm. The Sleep IQ Kids. Yeah, Sleep IQ Kids, mm -hmm. and we're gonna see it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I have more photos of it. I wish that you know. I, I I wish that we had this on the floor. We could walk around with this. That's next year. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So we can show you. But the Sleep IQ Kids. This is how cool it was. It's like they they gave us this cute little, this is actually what it looks like. This is the full size version. There's a twin and there's also a queen. And you know, one thing, you know, obviously we have eight, eight kids between us. And the one thing that I don't do, and I'm gonna totally admit it, and I don't know if you do it so much, but I don't have a set routine when it comes to bed. I mean, it's kind of like, I look at my watch, I'm like, oh my goodness, it's like around 8, 8.30, you guys gotta go to bed. And it's almost like a, a mad dash, rush. There is no, and it wasn't like when they were little. We're like, okay, let's read a book. It's like, okay, did you do your homework? Did you brush your teeth? Right. Did you put your clothes in the hamper? Like, bring the hamper down. It's just like, a, it's, 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 it's chaos. Man. It is. Right. So to hear, you know, we, we, we got to chat today um, with uh, Pete, and to hear him kind of talk about really bringing sleep into your home. Like you sit down and have a dinner together and you talk and you have a routine, bring that to your sleep. And I love how, you know, Sleep Number really does, they are helping you do that for your children. And we're gonna get more into this tomorrow because we're gonna be able to do some videos and we'll show you some right. demos that we that we had, but um, I loved it. But what I like about the bed in particular, and again, we'll talk about it a little bit more tomorrow, is the app that comes with the bed. Basically, yeah. the bed registers how you sleep. So when you're watching your children, you can see how many restful hours they had, how many restless hours they mm -hmm. had, how many minutes throughout the night they got up and out of the bed. So in the morning, when right. everyone's up and out of at breakfast, you, should, you could sort of take a look and say, you know, uh, Natalie. Why were you out of bed for 10 minutes? Right, how come you got out of bed for 20 minutes, yeah. um, you know, what, after you went to bed? And then she can say, oh, well, I wanted to text my friend. And then you can get into a discussion how right. bedtime is bedtime. Or if you notice that someone was having a very sleepless night you can think back well what did we do yesterday that was different oh we had a really late dinner and maybe she had some caffeine mm -hmm. where she shouldn't have so it's a way to really take a look have a look to see how did my child sleep now yeah, we sure. don't know we put our children to bed we don't know how right, so rest, that's right. Like, that's it. who knows and now this is a way for us to really know did they sleep soundly right and I like that this technology allows us to I um, love know it. that yeah and it actually you know for obviously if you have a sleep number um, you can track your own sleep as well, which is what they want. They want the right. whole family to be invested in this like love of sleep. And believe me, that's like one of the worst things that I have to deal with. So I was all over this. Yeah, this I'm is totally great. in love with this concept. So we're excited to bring you more of that tomorrow. tomorrow so, yeah. and then my other favorite thing that we got to see, well, I guess two things. We went to an LG mom's breakfast this morning uh -huh. where they unveiled. Um, their new washer and dryer actually it was the new wash. It was it was I wish I had a picture of it here I grabbed this so I could show it. This is the twin wash system and a mini wash I know this is not like the best photo on the planet But you actually get to do this is the washing machine mm -hmm. and you have a, an actual front load But then on the bottom is a drawer that you pull out and we did a video on this So it is on our YouTube channels, but it's like a mini wash on the bottom You could do intimates or he, he actually used Vera as an example because you could take this blouse and wash it delicate on the bottom. Right, so and it was great. I love that kind of, because I'm gonna confess something right what? now. You don't do laundry? I do laundry, but I'm not someone that separates. I never separate. I, I it fall it all in. in. You I see what he was talking about? That? I, I sat there nodding I like, the, like I was a good I laundry like, girl. Yeah, I separate the wipes. Like, mm -hmm. I do not separate the wipes. I don't have time for that. Yeah. I don't have time to do that. I gotta, if I'm doing laundry, I'm doing yeah. 12 loads of laundry. I gotta get it done. It's when true. Was saying that, I was it's like, oh, I can do this now. Yeah. So you could separate your color three wipes and do two separate Top loads on. at the same time. Time now, I will do it because a lot of people too. And I gotta be honest, I don't do this all the time, but a lot of people they wash all their underwear that's separately because you're supposed, to, you're supposed the delicate to, wash. right? Like, you know, I don't do that. I mean, we have I have seven well, not Victoria doesn't wear bottom like underwear yet, but yeah, six of us in underwear, yes. And I should be smart enough to separate it out, but like you, it's like uh, yes. I gotta I gotta get this up clean, I gotta get it out, yes. fold it, and put it away. Yes. So you don't do that. And then the dryer that that system, another reason that he pointed my shirt out is like this shirt is it, it wrinkles easily when, when traveling or right. when you when you put it away in your in your closet. In their dryer has a steam setting where I can throw this into the dryer, set it on steam dry, and for like two minutes it steams it, and then eight minutes it dries it again, and it comes out absolutely ready Done. to roll. 
Done. Yep, I'm amazing. Love it. That. And then just a little note, the bottom um, extra component is um, it works with all LG washers, right. not just this new one. So if you already own an LG washer, all you have to do is just add, add it. that extra bottom and you too can have two yes. washers at once. That's so and let's cool. say together the dryer, you can fit a King size, size comforter. comforter. Now I and I actually, actually sheets. He I did say that too. I don't know, actually, together. He true? said <gasps> he said you could fit a king size comforter and a set of sheets. I dry clean my my comforter. See, like that's what we have to do, and it's expensive. Eighty dollars later. Yeah, I'm you like, do it like once a season. I feel I like it's so expensive. Please, that's more than me. I don't even want to say how old. I'm buying. We bought a new one. We bought a new comforter. I do. I'm like for eighty dollars, I'll buy a new comforter. We did. We bought a new one. All right. So let's talk about. Wait, 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 wait. Toshiba. The yeah, Toshiba, you love this. You love this. Um, virtual, virtual fashion bidding, clock right? bidding. Holy moly! Yeah. So Toshiba came out with this thing. Anybody that watches <laughs> Clueless knows how cool this scene was. You stand in oh front of the God, mirror. Oh my God! I totally forgot yes. about this. You stand in front of the mirror and you're like, "Let me see what this outfit looks on." And then it's like, Bloop! it puts the outfit right in front of you, and you get to see what the outfit yeah. looks like on it's you. Very you're cool. like, I don't like this outfit. And you put your hand up, and then a whole it. other outfit comes in front of you. It was very cool. Holy moly, totally obsessed with it. And then she says something about shopping. And you, you will be able to shop from it eventually. Okay, so eventually, if I go, yeah. This it was like outfit. the Jetsons. Yes. Truly, it was like the Jetsons. Like, if I'm like, this outfit's incredible, I can shop it right then and there. I'll be like, yep, I want that sweater, yeah. I want that shirt, and then it'll come to That was so cheap. And then Whirlpool. Insane. Oh, it, this like blew my mind away. It was like the Jetsons. It was um, Whirlpool Interactive Kitchen Concept. So this is a concept. Tried. We have a video of this too. It's on our YouTube channels because we sat there. We looked at the woman. We Is this exactly what's going on? So basically, here's your counter, right? It's a regular counter. But actually what it is, is it's also a stove. I mean, it, it and genuinely a computer. And a computer. So on the wall, it's like a projection of recipes and people can FaceTime. You can physically see them while you're talking to them. You can, you know, do emails and check social media all like on the wall. Behind. Like I'm trying to like create a, a, an oven on the, and a wall. Wall. on the wall. And it's like it was you insane. can get recipes and then it's like, it'll say like recipe for mom. And if, and if I'm like, I don't understand. Do I really have to put two cups of water? Ding, call mom. Mom's mom, kitchen pops hello. up. And I'm like, mom, do I really have to put two cups? And she's like, yes, listen to the recipe. And I ding and hold it up and I continue. And then it's I'm insane. like, I want to invite Audrey over. And I click on guest. I'm like, Audrey, you want to come over tonight? And it shows me all her last social media updates. Right. So, so if I, I say I'm sick, Vera yeah, can invite her. I can invite her. I can't invite Audrey. She's sick. She just posted on Twitter. She's strapped. I don't want her in my house. Oh, my house. Next that guest. Disgusting person. This whole shebang. And then like you put your pot wherever you put awesome. your pot down. It was awesome. That's where they heat yeah, it up. Yeah. Like, so do that again. So basically, if I put the pot here, they'll be, they'll That's be, where the heat they'll be okay. If I put it here, it would, it would, it's just a, it's a sensor. And the rest stays It was amazing. Uh, the, the rest stays cool. Yes. Oh, and it talks to the refrigerator. So you put your stuff in the refrigerator and like it will come up and say, your milk expires in two days. So you might want to drink it. You know, it just, it gives you these prompts. I or thought it's it was like, amazing. Or it's like, you have celery in your fridge. Yeah. Have you ever thought about making chicken salad? And here's Never the recipe. thought about using it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was just, uh, okay, honestly, we looked at each other, and it was, my this is the future. Good. Yeah. Truly. I hope it's my future. I don't want to. And I, Panasonic I don't had this, too. Happen. Panasonic Beauty had this. I know. Well, you sat there. We're going to do a, a demonstration tomorrow, but you sit down, and you can actually do, try makeup and different hairstyles right through your mirror. That was awesome. And it's like, it's like, oh, I want to know what cat's eye looks like. All you do is you keep your face in the mirror, cat's eye. and all these different makeup stuff comes on your face. So you say, cat's eye. It was awesome. High bronzer, new hairstyle, and it's just your face. And it just does it. And it's all over. It's like, boom, you can see everything new, and you're just nothing. You're not even doing and not even it was very cool. anything. You're just sitting there. It is ridiculous. And now let's talk about wearable fashion, because it was so oh, yeah, wearable. that we saw. I mean, yeah. Forget about the fitness scene. Like the fitness was was 6, insane. Six thousand, six thousand different things. And I'm into fitness. I know. Yeah, I'm into fitness. I'm into like activity trackers yeah. and, and everything like that. They like had Fitbits and so many. Yeah, then Tom to Tom's. They had a ton. But you know, for you know, for I, I honestly about Under almost, Armour. You, you like the Under Armour. Under Armour has app. a new app. It's it's actually like you Armour. You download today and they're trying to create, which is really smart, because you know all these fitness people out there, you see on Facebook and Instagram them in like in the motion of doing things, they're trying to create a community like that, Under Armour. Yeah. So you, you go to this app again, it's You Armour, 
And uh, it's a community of people who are like-minded that love fitness, and it's a stream of photos, what you're doing. It, like, it's just a great, you can it's challenge people. Yeah. And, like, I can say to Bjork, is she, when, you know, when and she I can say no. When she and I can say no. It, I'm going to say, I challenge you to do, like, five push-ups tonight. And then she can challenge you back. Delete it. I so delete for you fitness buffs out there, it's a really cool app, and they really are trying to create this like-minded community of um, athletes, and he's stressed at any level. So any level. So people are getting off the couch. To the, the high end, like top, you know, peak, like athletes, they do this for a living. So I, I, I thought it was really cool. I immediately sent it to my cousin, who was like a fitness fanatic. As he was talking, I sent her how to download it because this is for anybody yes. who works out. And it's launched today. So, so download it today. Yeah. You'll be, you will be on like the first, you to, download the first to download it. Yeah. You get a lot of people in your community, and you know, now's the time to do it. It's so, basically cool. an Instagram, LinkedIn community just Twitter, for Facebook, fitness fanatics, for right fitness there. fans, for fitness lovers. And what else did they say that we loved? Um, oh, the wearables. You said a lot, the wearable a lot of jewelry. So yes. I did I did like that concept where you know you can wear the bracelet and yes. then it, with Audrey calls me I could um, without having to what have was that? the phone. Zaza? Yeah, I forgot Zazie. 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 Um, you could have I could be I could be told, okay, Audrey's calling me. Right. I don't have to have my phone right on, on the table, which is really getting obnoxious nowadays. So now I can just have a very discreet exactly. little, hey, heads up. Audrey's calling me on a really nice um, bangle statement jewelry. It's, they're nice and chunky, which I like. I appreciate that. Um, Swarovski came out medicine. with um, an activity tracker that it looks like a, 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 a Gorgeous. Dazzled like necklace. You would never know it's sort right. of like a Fitbit thing. Um, Fitbit, ha I, we saw some extensions where children can have um, a nice little yeah, add-on to their um, belts. You just put it on yeah. their belt, look like a little owl, and then they can you can track their steps. They can track their steps. They can have really fun. Cool. We saw... Um, just to extend off of that, just to get off the wearables, we even saw some iPad yeah, pieces that were, cool. were amazing. They stand up. They stand up for like little babies. Little they kids, look like little animals. Little bottoms of animals, so like little panda feet, and then the, the iPad actually stands up. So everything's like on our Instagram. Yeah, and we took, Twitter we took a ton of too. photos. So check those out. Um, what else was your favorite? What else? I mean, like it was. To be honest with you, I gotta. We we didn't. Have, we had no idea what we were coming into. CES is new for both of us. We've been wanting to go forever. We kind of walked in. It is very overwhelming yeah, if you've never huge. been here before. It's not one location. This is another thing for new people who are All attending, different. which is something we didn't know. Right. It's five, six different locations, and these are convention centers. This is not like one little suite. Right. This is like five different conventions, it's five crazy. different hotels. There's 160,000 people here yeah. that are the attendees. And so like we ran into our friend Josh from Techlicious, and he was like, you know, you really should go in with a plan. Kind of know, and we didn't. We we didn't go in with it. This is again. This is new to us. We didn't go in with the plan. Next year, we will definitely yeah. have a plan down. Yeah. You know, I would like to see. I guess for us, like more of this, like more of like, hey, what'd you see? What'd you love? Because we kept bumming into people we, we know. Right. It's the first thing we say, like, where have you been? What have you seen? We had a girl tell us about really cool. Um, your friend, uh, the iPhone cases. All right. And so we ended up getting a new iPhone. Case. Right. They were giving them away. You traded them in. It was, it was under, under Armour gear. Right. Under Armour, and it was just like really, it was awesome. And it was military grade, but it was thin like a regular, right? Uh, regular case, which is what my husband and I are always. We don't. We don't want the bulkiness of the protection, but we still want protection. So this gives you that military grade protection. You could drop it and it's safe, Nothing. but it's so thin. So I really appreciate yeah, that. And I traded in my case. I, I did it. I, I traded in for a new um, Under Armour gear. Yep. And then there was something else. Oh, Motorola with the... Oh, um, yeah, you loved the dog. It was, I think it was called Scout 5000, which was the, the name of it. And basically, you can wear your dog. You can put a camera on your dog. That's cool. And you, it, you could record high def video of where your dog goes. Like basically, your dog can have like an online profile showing his life, like life of a dog. It's a GoPro. I'm so it's a GoPro I'm so dog. obsessed. I'm, cool. like, I'm obsessed with this concept. Um, it was and awesome. then it's obviously a GPS tracker. You can speak to your animals through it. So if you're at work, you can maybe say hello, Cookie. Yes. I love you. You can talk all you want to your little puppy while you're not at home, and you can hear him. And and there's some barking control capabilities, which we didn't really get into. I didn't really understand what he was saying there, but right. that is available as well. And then of course they have a ton of monitors, Maybe baby monitors, and. Um, the place. I mean, honestly, it was it was. We're gonna it. tomorrow. We're gonna like attack the section of more. Family, kids, yeah. fitness, health, tech. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow. 
that was pretty much a really good wrap up of our day. Yeah, I, I mean, mean the so Cannon oh, had a ton of stuff. We went to so many different booths today. I know Just, Canon had a, the most amazing cameras out. They were really focusing on their printers, like how, how which, the yeah, quality of their printers. The quality. They would they had so much stuff that were just prints on the wall that you would think Gorgeous. were professionally developed, and they were just printed. They were developed by the printers that were yeah. on display, which was so amazing because you could just take a regular photo. And um, print it using the can print, print and they look high, high professional, like top grade quality, which is what you want. Yeah, nowadays. I mean, I feel like like this is like I mean, we have stuff we're gonna do tonight. You know, yeah. this it's only right now. It's only let me see and do the bath. It's only like five fifteen here, five nineteen. So we have um, a ton of stuff to do tonight, but we wanted to make sure we came back to the hotel, did a quick recap, sat in the bathroom, sat in the bathroom together in Vegas, mm -hmm. like random. But no, this is literally this is the only place with the remotely good light. I don't we know still what. look. We still look more on the yellowish tint. We're a little yellow, but that's I mean, okay. Yeah, that's okay. We that's we have okay. to gotta let this one slide. So that was our recap. We want to make sure we get in touch with you guys. We're gonna keep doing our digital dishes. This is like our New Year's goal resolution. Mm -hmm. So we are gonna stay on this. Hope you guys like it, and we will do another one, dish and back digitally, about what we found tomorrow. So have a great night, everybody. That's still the toilet. That is that is that is. That is